I don't mind the ditto. I don't think it's that bad a cloud. Uh, there, there are much worse dittos that could be had in this game. Very interesting. I mean, Jimmy does have a Falcon, but I'm not sure if he's ever tried Falcon against Ned. Uh, the only Falcon to really take a set on Ned, though, is Yeti from uh, Minnesota. Yep. Uh, Yeti also being on the Midwest crew for the Saturday. With yeah, Ned, that's alongside cool. Ned. Yep. Enemies and teammates. Yeah, we got a Minnesota car coming. We even talked about them today. I'm excited for that. I'm actually, yeah, I'm yeah. excited about the Minnesota They're car. We had the North Carolina car come through today. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, these cloud dittos, man. Uh, Ned get, answering a lot of damage. I asked Ned about the cloud ditto a long time ago. He told me, Nair bodies cloud and ditto. Because Nair beats down air, Nair beats up air. But then also up air can beat down air. It's all about timing your aerials, really. Right, timing and spacing is the absolute key. I mean, you can argue that's the key to any matchup, but especially this one when your kits are the exact same. And that was fantastic pressure, forcing Jimmy to use his limit. And now we got Ned with limit and less percent. And Jimmy with no limit. Jimmy with a thousand ways to die right now. But if you can force Ned off stage, force him to burn limit. Just and, like that. And uh, Cloud can just, it's, it's, it's such a volatile, like, it's just a hard character, man. It's like, he can die anytime. That is <laughs> very true. Zero percent, he can die. You hit him the wrong way, done. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did see uh, Mitsu King get JV3 to end game. So. We did. Zero to JV3. Two, two down smashes. Mm -hmm. It's filthy. The down tilt, popping him up, but now he's got limit. Yeah, Ned doing so good with those down tilts. That's the second time he's stuffed a Jimmy recovery Cloud actually, uh, with down tilt. And then Cloud actually a heavy character in this game. So uh, let me cross that. won't exactly kill Ned unless he's at the edge. Well, right now, it will kill. Next rage, easy. Forcing him to burn limit. Tried to read that, did not get it. That was a good attempt, though. I'll give it to him. Uh, I don't know, man. He already burned his limit. I wanted to see him hold the, like hold stage control, force uh, another option. But he can still take the stock relatively early. Not if those nares keep flying out. Yeah. yeah there we go. See, uh, one stock game now. But um, we got Jimmy with the limit bonus. See, so just tra trying to trade nares Ooh. and up airs. Jab, amazing for stage control in this matchup. Uh, up air going through that down air. Uh -huh. The juggles. Limit cloud. Not helping him out right now. <laughs> not now helping him out, but he breaks it up with a nair of his own and goes on the attack. And now he's up in percent. Ned retaliates right back here. Cloud did us, man. Uh, gets the pivot movement right there. Ooh, that's bad. But uh, he's still got the stage control for it. Ned being so patient, they're not burning his limit directly after Jimmy burns his. Yeah, Ned is a very conservative person oh, with his limit. Man. He, Ned does not use his limit unless he takes stocks or saves his own. That was actually poetry right there. Ned waiting until the very, very last second. There were several times he could have used it. Several times he might have gotten a stock with it, but he waited until he knew that stock was his before he pulled the trigger on that limit cross slash. And not only did he take that stock, but he took that game one. But that was relatively close, so we might see Jimmy staying on board for the Cloud Ditto for game two. Because, you know, you're going to want to learn it. Like, although he does have Captain Falcon, yeah, you can kind of cheat someone if you want. But, you know, if you can outplay your opponent, you want to know this matchup. Right. So we're going to allow that cruise for game two. Now, I mean, people are always going to say, oh, Cloud's going to have trouble recovering on the stage. But, like, I don't know. Some Clouds seem to see, be making the stage work. Uh, Kamoro Kiri is one to counter pick to this stage with Cloud. I think people get so blinded by the tilting stage that they just completely ignore the perfect height of these platforms for Cloud. <laughs> up tilt city. Uh, leading into up airs, look at the perfect. Perfect. Uh, he just strung four up airs there using those platforms. And he just took the lead with that. And, uh, it's, it's, it's such an interesting subject, too. Like, Kamoro Kiri, look at him. He plays Cloud and Sonic. So, the two most hated stages in the game, Lilat and Duck Hunt. If you ban Duck Hunt, I'm going Cloud on Lilat. <laughs> And that Jimmy dog. getting a fresh spike. Down there, spike, taking that first stock. Stewart going back at it for Jimmy with a rather comfortable lead right now. Ned on the attack, though. Mm -hmm. Jimmy retaliating with some of his own. And like I said, these two using these platforms. You In this ditto, the worst place to be is on top of one of those platforms. Ooh, that's going to do it. Barely connects. Ned's so precise with those limit cross slashes. He needed that last hit. 
Now, we, I mean, we did see Jimmy take down Demetrius earlier tonight. It's possible. Because uh, he's got this lead right now, game two. But we can't count Jimmy out. You never count Jimmy out. That's the thing about Jimmy. He's like the PR slayer. There we go. The neutral air answering cloud in the air. And now they both got limit on deck. Well, it forces him to burn his. Burn his, yep. Oh, oh that was almost man. devastating. That could have been game. Like, especially with, like, Lilat tilting all the time. Unpredictable. It could have absolutely been Ooh, the game. tries to read it. Doesn't get it either. No punish on the up smash. No punish on the down smash. Gets the stage control with limit. Forces him to burn his limit. Uh, now Ned looking for an answer. No limit on that board for Ned, but Jimmy's about half a tank. Jimmy just swinging those neutral airs around, getting those late hits. That was a good challenge. I have not seen that before. A very good challenge for Ned. Oh, we got a limit on That's deck for Jimmy. Deck. We got some shield pressure coming from Ned, though. That's going to do it. Blade Beam is going to do it, and Jimmy ties up the set one apiece. Bring it to game three, man. Even matchup right here. But now, uh, we were talking about this earlier. Limit, Blade Beam on the ground is does way more in the ground than in the air. Uh, on the ground it does 19% and in the air it does 15%. Now that 4% doesn't seem like a lot, but the knockback from the ground it is just far superior. Like, uh, you'll often see, oh, I got hit by aerial limit play beam at 130, but then people are going to live. But if they get hit by uh, grounded limit play beam at like 130, they're going to die. Interesting. Yeah. Something a lot of, all you new cloud mains out there, or all you pocket cloud mains, because everyone and their mothers got one. Take notes. Mm -hmm. And other than that though, unless limit play beam is going to kill, you don't want to use it. Your, your other limit options are way better. Right. Limit climb hazard is so underrated. Yeah, so, so fast. Yeah, it's got like the invincible startup, I think. Yeah. On it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's like invincible frame two, and it comes out frame three or four, or something stupid like that. And then uh, people just kind of gave up on finishing touch after the nerf because like yeah. limit cross slash is so much more uh, optimal. So much faster. You'll see both of these guys. Ned especially loves limit climb hazard uh, as a kill option, I should say. If he can get it out of shield, he's gonna get it out of shield. And uh, Jimmy taking a lot of control of this game right now. Um, it's kind of interesting too because uh, we had Jimmy in the cloud diddle last week uh, against McMuffin, and McMuffin uh, ended up 2 0ing Jimmy. Really? With, yeah, and then uh, McMuffin knew the cloud. That little cross edge will it be enough to take the stock? No. I love and, this. Uh, this is poetry. Do the ditto, settle it on final destination. No items. But it did put a lot of fear into Ned because now. Uh, Jimmy is landing his limit moves as well. Maybe we got Jimmy learning from Ned. So, but then again, he wants it to kill every time. And just as we say they don't go for the finishing touch, he uses it. And that's exactly why you don't want to be using it like that. It's Ooh. so inconsistent. He tried to go for the downer spike on that climb hazard. Uh, it's definitely going to be less reliable on uh, Final Destination. And we did not want that blade being in the air. And now all. he's dead from that air. Yep, I don't think he realized he was going to get limit. I think he just got limit at the last second there. Maybe he tries B to cancel it Maybe. in the air. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, that, that would have been it. Because then I don't see why he would have used the blade beam in the air. He just tries B right he at the stalled, worst time. Could have tried to stall momentum. That's the only other option I can think of, but that is not what he wanted. It is going to cost him the stock, potentially the game, unless he can find an answer here. And he was looking so good on that first stock. But he, I mean, he's still very doable. These two jump in the exact same way. Their movement is so similar. There we go. Ned getting damaged. Once he gets this, once he gets started, man, takes 15 percent or 15 percent more, and now he's like 40 percent higher. Ned burned his limit, but he's at 150. He's got rage. He's got he's got all the room in the world to be aggressive. He's gonna go for neutral later there. Uh, he wants to challenge it with up air as it has worked before. Up air gonna take Ned's first stock, and now we got Jimmy with limit. Ned with no limit. Uh, probably being able to die at any time. True, this is one stock apiece. All it takes is a well-timed neutral air off stage for Jimmy to be the one coming out on top here. Yeah, does Jimmy want to find his way into winter semis, or is Ned gonna hold his place? Here this is number oh, one in Chicago. Man. Jimmy ran off and burned it so quick. Looking for the low recovery. Ned did not give it to him. I think Jimmy's seeing red here. He's kind of getting a little bit ahead of himself. He's got to calm his composure and keep it together if he wants to win this. Gets a good grab in there. Definitely. Very underrated for cop players. Ooh, that's it. Oh, man. And Gets a spike. Jimmy takes it. Down air spike, and that is going to do it. That is going to be a huge, huge, huge noble win on Jimmy's list.
Ned can't be happy about that one. No, man. That down air is just going to, as we said, you can die at any time. Any time. Jimmy's able, going to clutch that one out. A huge win in the cloud ditto. Jimmy taking down both Demitis and Ned, two PR players in this tournament. Jimmy is on a tear tonight. Guaranteed fifth for the night. Moving on to winner's semis. I waited so long to react because I legitimately wasn't sure who got that spike. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately didn't know. They, were just, they looked so similar, the and clouds. The clouds spiked so strong because he was dead at 40 after the hit.